Hey guys, Allison from Health Nut Nation here. This week I'm showing you how to make another wonderful, healthy, homemade treat. This is absolutely to die for baked caramel corn. And I know you say, yeah, it's not healthy. Well, yeah, it's still a treat, but it's made with coconut sugar, butter, and it doesn't have any caro corn syrup in it. I got a secret ingredient that you're gonna love. This stuff, you gotta learn how to make. It's really easy. Just in time for Halloween. Oh, oh my gosh. Mmm, that's good. That is, oh, it's addictive. I'm sorry. Mmm. Our list of ingredients include popcorn. I'm gonna pop mine using some coconut oil. If you have an air popper, that works great. I wouldn't necessarily recommend microwave popcorn unless you can get it ultra plain. And then I have a cup of coconut sugar over here. Now you can use brown sugar in its place. I have Lyle's Squeezy Golden Syrup in place of caro syrup or corn syrup. This is actually a cane sugar syrup. I get it at Cost Plus World Market. I'm sure you can order it online. In fact, I'll get a link and put it in the description box below so that you know exactly where to get it. Butter, salt, vanilla, and a little bit of baking soda include the rest of our list. Pretty darn simple, isn't it? To a heavy bottom stainless steel pan, I've added about two tablespoons of coconut oil and a half a cup of popcorn kernels. Now I'm gonna cover it up and wait for it to start popping. Once you start hearing it pop, I start to jiggle the pan so that the kernels get coated in the oil. Watch your face when you open this up so the steam doesn't hit you. And it's beautifully popped. All right, I'm making my caramel sauce with the butter, coconut, sugar, and syrup. And I'm just gonna let those flavors mingle for a few minutes and the butter melt and everything come together. And then I'm gonna let it boil for about five minutes or until it comes to 240 degrees, the softball stage. Now, you do not have to have a candy thermometer to do this, but and, you know, you can go by your smell, but I, I like to just be better safe than sorry, especially when I'm using a little bit different ingredients like coconut sugar. One of your best tools when cooking is your sense of smell. So I'm constantly coming over to the caramel and even though I have a candy thermometer, thermometer I'm smelling it to make sure that it's not starting to burn because if it's starting to burn, I'm gonna take it off the heat right away no matter what temperature it's at. All right, my caramel is at 240 degrees, so I gotta take it off the heat and I'm gonna add the vanilla, salt, and baking soda. Watch it fluff up. Okay, it's well blended, so I'm gonna just pour it right over my popcorn and then we're gonna put it in the oven for a few minutes. Look at this beautiful caramel coated popcorn. Now I'm gonna stick it in the oven and I'm gonna stir it three times and let it bake, not for very long, and it's gonna turn out awesome. I cannot tell you how much willpower it takes not to eat this stuff immediately. I mean, stirring it every five minutes like this is like just a little bit of torture. It's so delicious, gooey and yummy. Oh, oh my gosh, delicious. I gotta stop eating this long enough to end this video for you guys. It, this stuff is seriously to die for and it's really easy to make. Just in time for Halloween and the holidays, makes a great gift, gluten-free, all those wonderful things. Okay, give it a try, let me know what you think and I will see you next week. To your health.